Hey, what's up guys, Jakey here. So today I'm going to be making a updated video on how to set up your tablet for Osu when you first get it. I made a video like this back in 2015 and there's a lot of things in that video which are now redundant um, and don't really work anymore. So this is an updated video and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So we are gonna be setting up, uh, in my opinion, the best custom driver for Osu uh, for our tablet here and we want to make sure first that our tablet is actually supported. So I will leave a link to this uh, GitHub in the description below. You guys can just click on that, go to this page, and we're going to go down to supported tablets, and we're going to click here on supported tablets. I'm going to open it in a new tab, and we're just going to make sure that our tablet is supported. So I am using the Wacom CTH480, and as you can see under the status here, it is supported. So make sure that your tablet is somewhere here, uh, even if it's down here in missing features, this just means some features aren't supported, but it still works with this driver. So even if it's one of these tablets, you're, you'll be good to go. Uh, if it's one of these broken ones, obviously it's not going to work, and these are untested. So just make sure your tablet is somewhere on this list and it is supported. So after you make sure that your tablet is supported, you want to make sure that you uninstall any tablet drivers that you currently have. So for example, if I installed the Wacom drivers for my tablet, I would uninstall that right now before I install this custom driver. So just make sure you uninstall any pre-existing uh, tablet drivers that you have and restart your computer. So after that's all good to go and you have a clean tablet without any drivers, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the installation header here and we're gonna click on this installation guide. After you're here, I'm gonna be showing you how to do it for Windows, but obviously if you have Linux or Mac OS, you want to go down to these links. Uh, but I'm only going to be showing you guys Windows because that's what I'm using. So we're going to click on Windows here. And you can see the first step here is to make sure we have the .NET runtime installed, uh, the 64-bit version. So we want to click on this, and it's the one in the middle here, the Run Desktop Apps. And we want to make sure that we download the 64-bit version. If you already have this installed, it will tell you that. Okay, after you have uh, the runtime installed, we want to go to Step 2. We are going to be using the installer. If you wanted to install the tablet driver on a USB uh, like thumbstick so you could bring it around, then you would use the portable version. But I am going to be installing it on my computer. So we're going to be using the installer. And we're just going to click on this, download the latest installer executable here. Click on that and download the one at the very top because it's going to be the latest one. And then click on open tablet driver installer.exe. Your version might be different, obviously, depending on when you watch this. Um, and we want to wait for it to download. And then make sure you extract this file to somewhere where it's easily accessible and you will remember it. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to put it on my desktop. Okay, once it's on your desktop, uh, just double click on it. And this might pop up here, uh, Windows Defender saying that it's a suspicious file. But there's no need to worry because this file is completely clean. There's nothing wrong with it, no virus or anything. Just click on more info and then click run anyway. So after you launch it, you will see this screen right here. I have uninstall and start because I obviously already have it installed. But if you don't have this installed, you will see a install button here. You just want to click on that and then uh, it should launch or you just click start after that and it will launch. So it should launch this screen right here. And you can see at the top, it's already connected to my tablet and it should automatically connect to yours. If you don't see it, automatically connect and it's not connecting to your tablet, you can try restarting your computer uh, or you can try unplugging and replugging your tablet. If that doesn't work, you can try maybe a different USB port on your computer. And yeah, those are just some quick troubleshooting methods that you can try if it's not picking up your tablet. Another thing you can do is you can actually just click on tablets and click detect tablet and see if that helps or not. But after that, you pretty much have the custom tablet drivers installed. So what you can do here is actually under display you can right click on it and you can set it to your main display. I have it set to my main monitor, obviously, and under that is your tablet area. So you can mess around here. You can right click, uh, you can lock the aspect ratio if you want. You can align it to the left or the center, whatever you want. Uh, you can also convert your area from like, so if you are used to a Wacom area and you have all the coordinates, you can actually convert your Wacom area into uh, this program which is very nice. So down here, you can also change your width. Uh, and since mine is locked, if I change my width, the height changes with it as well. 
So after you set everything, you just want to click save and apply. Down here you can change from absolute mode, which is tablet mode, to relative mode, which is mouse mode if you want. Uh, in this tab you can also change your buttons as well, but the most important part and the reason I say that the open tablet drivers are uh, the best custom drivers right now, for OSU at least, is because of this tab, the filters tab. So you can actually install filters from uh, other tablet drivers. So if you click on open plugin manager, you can see here that we can actually install filter, like the Devo Cub filters, we can install the Haku filters, and there's a bunch of different filters that we can install. So that's why I say that this is a very powerful software and this is probably the best custom tab tablet driver at the moment for OSU is just because you can install so many different filters in the one driver. So I'm currently using the Devo Cub filters and if you wanna use a filter, you just literally click on it and then just click install. And it will either show up under the filter tab here or in my case for the Devo Cub, it will show up in the interpolators. And you can see Devo Cub anti-chatters right here and I can use the Devo Cub filters inside of this driver. You need to have this open at all times. You can see, it. let me show you that it actually works. So you can, it actually works with my tablet. And you need to have this open um, if you are using your tablet. So I just minimize it, but and it will show up in your in your tray here. Um, but once you close out of it, you will have to use this executable right here that we downloaded earlier to launch the program. That's why I say you should keep this somewhere where it's easily accessible, somewhere like your desktop or maybe your OSU folder. Um, but yeah, so once uh, if it's closed and we want to relaunch it, just double click it and we don't even have to press start, it will just launch straight away, just like that. Okay, so as you can see, my tablet right now is completely working uh, inside of OSU, but some people have issues sometimes where their cursor gets stuck in the top left corner, or their cursor just gets stuck in a, in a random corner of their screen or just doesn't work at all. Uh, so a couple of things you can do to try and troubleshoot that is, if it works completely fine on your desktop, and it only freaks out inside of OSU, you can try going into options, going down to your mouse settings and toggling raw input on or off. So try it with on and off and see if that helps. And also make sure that your sensitivity is set to uh, 1X and change your area, not your sensitivity when you're using a tablet. So you can try that, uh, make sure your sensitivity is on 1X and try toggling raw input on and off. Another thing you can try is toggling map absolute raw input to the OSU window. Uh, on and off and see if that helps as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. That is how to set up the open tablet driver for OSU. If this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.